Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. So I haven't done a haul in a while and I kind of just went out today because I was looking for specific things and I'm glad that I picked them all up today. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. Okay, so today I actually hung out with my friend Grace. She was actually my first best friend ever and it was so fun just to catch up with her. And then we went to uh, Nordstrom Rack together and then I saw this huge thing of Lorac eyeshadows for 29 bucks which is the price that's up there and there is 12 eyeshadows in here and I'm planning on doing a look with some of these single eyeshadows because normally I use palettes and I never really reach for single eyeshadows as much as I would like to but we're gonna make the change we're gonna make this happen yes next thing that I picked up was this primer potion by Urban Decay this is the OG primer potion and I got this for five bucks five bucks and I don't know I thought it would be super fun to um, put it into my makeup collection for clients or anything like that because a lot of the things that I bought today was specifically for a separate makeup kit that I use on other people and since I am doing makeup for other people I wanted to get separate sponges and since the beauty blender is kind of expensive and this is a two pack for like half the price of one beauty blender I thought it would be perfect just to get this if it rips or something I could just throw it out get a new one good stuff this is the real techniques um, miracle complexion sponge and I I really like this I had it before it expired got a new one so we all know it's summer and you cannot go wrong with long wearing makeup and I recently saw this video I think it was by Zabrina and she was talking about how this makeup spray by Ulta this is just the Ulta brand makeup setting spray is really good in longevity so hopefully if I try it I'm gonna see how well it compares to the Urban Decay All Nighter but I just got these small Small sample size this is 0.8 fluid ounces and they didn't have the bigger size but this is this is all I need for what I'm gonna do this weekend so after Nordstrom we went to the mall and we hit up Air Postal and we were about to leave until we saw these shoes and they were only 15 bucks what and they're by the company Prince and Fox even though they were sold at Air Postal but I got these shoes. They kind of look silver, but I swore in the store they looked gold. But they might be duochrome, so I'm not sure. But I wanted something super easy to slip on and leave the house with. And I got these black quilted ones too. They're kind of like Chanel, but they're not. <laughs> Um, recently just all my shoes have just been getting so dirtied and scruffed up and very holy, especially towards the back, which I just needed something super quick I could just throw out by the end of the year or something like that. And yeah, good deal. Can't go wrong. The next place that I hit up was Walmart because I knew that they had the most inexpensive eyelashes. but. You might think, oh, well, isn't it better to go to Ulta and you can get points or something like that? I'm all about inexpensive, <laughs> get the lowest price. So I got the Salon Perfect Lashes. Um, there's five lashes for $8. These are the style Demi Wispies, so they're kind of like the Ardell Demi Wispies. And then this is more of like a natural lash. This is in the style 110, kind of like the Ardell 110. Huh. But um, I didn't even notice that. But these are a five pack and I thought that it was a good deal. If you're starting out or if you're trying to find new lashes, Salon Perfect is the way to go. Now I've been trying to find these lashes at a really good deal and every single time I go to Walmart, I feel like these are never there. I think this was like the first time I've seen this there. So I just grabbed one because I've never tried the Vegas Nay by Eiler lashes i think this is in the st style shining star it says adhesive included so you know i'm gonna try the adhesive but i just thought these were so pretty these are kind of like a more natural queen bee kind of look not really i'm not sure how they're gonna look because it's it looks like the hairs on this one is a little bit more even on both sides of the lash where i like it tapered in the inner corner and flared out in the end but we'll see, I only bought one for a reason. So I really needed a new blending brush for my makeup kit and I thought I would pick up the e.l.f. contour brush. It's just a very small 
brush like this and I thought it would be really easy to get in the in the outer corner or the inner corner if you're doing a halo eye. thought it would be super fun and quick and simple. Now the last place that I went to was Walgreens and I picked up two lipsticks. I finally found the Milani Amore Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I could not find these for the longest time and this one was the only one that was unopened and so this is this is what it is. It's a nude one, obviously. This is in the color 10 Adorable, so I don't know. I never swatched it in the store either. I kind of just got really excited that it was a nude, and that's nice. That's nice. I'm going to have to wear this tomorrow, and then um, as with anything that I do try, I'm going to list the mini reviews in the description box below, but majority of these I don't really try it until like a month later so if any um, reviews are up there on the description box and then I wanted to get another wet n wild lipstick this is in the color in the flesh and this is more of like a rosy nude again with the nudes I can't help it but this I thought was super pretty and I wanted something a little darker than bare at all but not as dark as Mogalicious and this fell right into the middle Alright you guys, so that wraps up this mini haul and I can't believe I just filmed this in 10 minutes. That's kind of crazy, but I hope you guys really enjoy this. I rarely do hauls. I like barely go out shopping, but when I do something like this, I kind of just want to sit down, talk to you guys for a minute and just chill out, you know? So as always, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.